Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to do a chroma key effect with Adobe After Effects. And basically, uh, chroma key, if you don't know already, is green screen. Alright, as you can see, that was just a, a short test video. Um, it was completely done with a green screen, and uh, if you notice, you can see a little bit of a rough edge on the the border of me and the white but you can always fine tune that it's it's not perfect because I didn't have the best lighting uh, whenever I filmed it and uh, so today I'm going to show you how to do it uh, with Adobe After Effects let me close this real quick alright here we go uh, we have Adobe After Effects open uh, first what you want to do is go up to composition and click new composition uh, you want to make your width 1280 your height is 720. Uh, I shot it at 24 frames per second. Uh, you could, you should do about 30 frames per second, um, unless if you shot it at 24, of course. And um, if you have a really long video, you're probably going to need more than 400 frames. But not, mine is a little bit less than 400, so I'll just click OK. All right, uh, now we have our composition window open. Now you want to double click in the project uh, box right here. And now we're going to select the video we're going to edit. So just select it, click open. And now it should be uh, in your project window. Simply select it and drag it down into the timeline. Uh, it's Weirdly enough, it always scales it up like this every time I try to import one of my videos. So I'll just scale this down real quick. Uh, to scale it down in, uh, in a way that it keeps its original proportion, you want to click on one of the boxes, hold shift and then bring it down like that uh, and if you don't hold shift it's not going to keep its original proportion and as you can see my original video didn't have green screen covering the entire f um, frame uh, of the video itself you don't need green screen to cover everything you only need green screen to um, to chroma key out you like this stuff I can always uh, get rid of on the sides, you know. All right, so now what I want to do is go to the exact frame where my body steps completely into the green screen. So here we are walking in. All right, about here. I'll just take my work area, tr cut it down to there. Right click, trim comp to work area. Okay, and uh, now you want to find the frame where you just before you ro walk out of camera so uh out of the camera right here okay so i'll just take my uh end of the work area and trim that part off okay uh so now all you have uh is just the footage of you in uh, the green screen uh, with the green screen behind you and as you can see i have a shadow behind me and the green screen has a bunch of um of folds in it but if you uh, use Adobe After Effects you can get rid of that uh, to get rid of the green uh, well first what you want to do is take your pen tool uh, and then just click around the border of the green screen you can always edit uh, the green screen whoops okay um, you can always add more vertexes to this pen tool I'm just creating a rough uh, layout of what it's going to look like. It looks good. Um, okay, so now you can go ahead, hold that down, uh, and then click Add Vertex Tool. And you can just add more vertexes to make it look better. Select your arrow tool and just drag it up. It shouldn't curve like that for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that, but uh, just make it so all you can see is the border of the green screen. And um, now what you want to do is uh, once you've created this border around your green screen, let me make sure. Yep, that looks good. Or get that one. Alright, now what you want to do is go up to Effect, 
go down to keying and select color key. Uh, take your eyedrop tool and then just click any one of the greens. And nothing really happens, so what you want to do is take your color tolerance and bring it up. And as you bring it up, uh, you can see that it gets rid of a lot of the green. But if you're too careful, it also gets rid of, of you a little bit too. So you want to only bring it up to a certain point. And now uh, I want to get rid of this green too. So I'll just uh, click Control D, create a second color key. Uh, then take my eyedropper tool click on it and uh, since my blue jacket is really similar to that dark green or bluish green you're gonna bring down the color tolerance uh, enough so you only see a little bit of uh, this green you can always click control D again take your eyedropper tool again and then select it and alright so you just want to continue doing color key until you get rid of the majority of this green. And I'll bring up that color tolerance too. Alright, that looks good. Um, and so if you notice, while I'm moving around, you can still see kind of a little bit of green, uh, and that doesn't look very good. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go up to Effect, go down to Matte, and then select simple choker and what this is going to do is it's going to create more of a, a rounded edge uh, around your body so what you're going to do is take uh, the choke mat and bring it down into a negative number and as you can see the green starts to make a more smooth line it's a lot thicker and the reason that you have to do this is so uh, whenever you introduce key light, it's going to be able to remove all this green much simpler. So you might want to bring it up to 50 or so. And as you can see, whenever you scroll through the video, you can uh, notice that it's still maintaining its rounded shape. All right, now what we're going to do is, uh, well, let me close these first. So we don't have a million things going on there. And now you want to click Effect, Keying, and then select Key Light. Uh, take uh, the eyedropper tool next to screen color and then click on the green surrounding your body. And as you can see, most of it has been uh, removed. What you're going to want to do is take your screen pre-blur, do about 0.75, um, and bring up the screen gain just a tad so you can get rid of that gray border around you. Maybe bring up the balance so that... Uh, you don't have all these pixels moving around your body and if you want to you can take the decibel bias change it to that bluish or control Z if you want to undo that alright um, maybe bring up the screen gain a little bit more that looks good but remember if you're bringing up the screen gain you want to make it so that you don't have black pixels all over your body um, and I guess this looks pretty good so far. Um, you don't see many um, problems around the border of you. And finally, if you want to add a white background or any background, really, you could take a picture from Google even. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is create layer, new, solid. And this is going to be the white background. Uh, make the width 1280 by uh, 720 for height. And then make the color white. Click OK and uh, you want to take your white solid and put it underneath of your video layer and so now uh, you can see that I am in uh, the video uh, or, or in front of the white and if you want to get rid of this stuff uh, you can just bring up the screen gain a little bit more and I think that looks okay let me scroll through Mm, bring it down just a tad because if you bring up the screen gain too much also that your your hand might get a little bit red um, I guess that looks good so far uh, and so if you uh, like it what you want to do now is uh, you're gonna want to render it so first uh, go up to composition select make movie and down here uh, you have 
comp one, obviously, is what it's called, or unless if you called it something else whenever you made the composition. Uh, double click on the yellow text next to output two. And then I'm going to call it uh, green screen test. And uh, click save. And uh, now what you're wanna get, what you're gonna want to do is click render, but it's probably gonna take four minutes, so I'll just skip to the end of uh, whenever it's done rendering. So hang on just a sec. All right, uh, now um, the video is completely finished rendering, uh, so you can go ahead and close After Effects if you want to. Click now. Okay. All right, and here we are. Here is our final video uh, hang on just a second alright there you are and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, just uh, remember that it, the longer the green screen video lasts uh, the longer it's gonna take for it to render I mean a three second video alone for me took like two minutes but that's probably because I have ridiculously slow computer uh, also because a bunch of programs are running. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, and I just want to let you guys know that this Saturday is going to be my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. And so hopefully I can create a video about it on YouTube um, on Saturday. And just thank you guys for all your help. All right. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.